Hey guys, Cody Schwab here, and today I want to do a painting showcase of this piece right here, Fire and Ice. Um, I'm actually going to show you the, the painting itself and kind of go over what the inspiration was of it, why I made it, and how I made it. So basically you can see that the, uh, the piece is a red and blue piece. Um, it's strictly that all that it was. And I kind of hate, I actually did it on the, the 0.8 um thickness canvas so the three quarter inch as opposed to like this one where it's the uh one and a half or this one right here um you can see that it is a little thinner um than these other paintings um but anyway i'd like to talk about the painting real quick and kind of how i made it and why i made it so first off let's talk about why i made it um I've been really studying Gerard Richter's work and um, you know Gerard Richter is known for doing you know a lot of these scrape paintings so I've done some um, but I kind of like uh, this one right here the rusty anchor um, but I wanted one that you know this is very linear this is a very linear piece this I, I kind of wanted to do something that was more broken up right and you can kind of see the, the really vibrant blue and red to it. Um, it's actually kind of a darker painting. You can, because of the light, it looks a little lighter, which is great. I love it. Um, but anyway, I did it because I've been testing out more scraped methods, right? Um, now, why I made it is because I have been wanting to do more scraped work um, just in general. But also, I love red and blue. Um, red and blue are kind of my my favorite uh, color combinations are actually my favorite individual colors. Um, blue to me is just very, it's very soothing, and it's a um, this is kind of a bluish color right here. You can see it's on my wristband as well. I love blue just because it's a good common color, and it's also very calming. Um, I also love red because red is very actionable. So I felt like this this combination of red and blue was a good combination and also kind of contrast uh, between the two and red and blue mean a lot of things to a lot of people i'm in the u.s so red and blue is kind of you know uh very important to us you know in our flag and just kind of our culture the red and white the red and blue um colors coordination now how i made this all right now i'd like to just state two things that with this painting i actually tested a couple of new um i actually tested two different types of uh, variations of paint so actually I'll stand in front of, so normally um, with the type of paint like this one this is all the gloss enamel here um, I used you know the gloss enamel reds that I normally do red and orange and white it's all a Dunn Edwards like high gloss paint so this one was actually kind of a test with a couple of new well different types of paint so the red is actually not the high gloss that i normally do um it was actually a sheen lower than what i normally get so i usually get the high gloss which is like a 70 on their on their scale um but this one was actually a 60. so it was still um a glossy but it wasn't the high gloss so i was kind of testing different consistencies and sheens of paint um, and then the blue is actually a different brand that I got from Ace Hardware uh, called, um, it was called Clark and Kensington. So I was actually testing a different type of paint for this one. So you can actually see that this one is actually a little, uh, I want to say a little smoother right here as opposed to the red, but you can see, you know, it's still very vibrant. Um, so I was, I was testing different uh, sheens of paint and I was also testing a different brand and I actually think it turned out really nice so this is actually the overall piece here um, it is a 2 by 4 piece um, and that's basically it and then I made it with you know by scraping uh, in different directions over and over I'll be honest actually this is a I think there's like three layers of paint on there because initially when I started it was um, it kind of the red and blue kind of became like a purplish color so I went over it a few times and eventually uh, I got it to the point that I I liked it so um, essentially this is the final painting fire and ice and I just kind of wanted to give you uh, a showcase of it how I made it the reason why I made it and just the overall uh, finished product 
All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in another uh, video or painting showcase, and I'll see you then. Again, have a great day.